So of course, all day long, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be filming later today because I needed to edit in the morning, blah, blah, blah. And it ended up being like kind of a sunny day. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be nice because when it's sunny, the lighting is just right in this room when I film. Literally minutes before I sat down to film, storm clowns. <laughs> Storm clouds rolled on in and I was like, of course. The lighting is a little, it's fine, but it's just not the way I like it. <laughs> anyway, hello, my name is Jessica. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be trying, I just can't stop thinking about storm clowns. What would that look like? <laughs> we are gonna be trying these new products from L'Oreal. It is their age perfect line. I'd heard of one of them and then I kind of stumbled on the rest as I was just like, you know, messing around on Target's website. <laughs> Always gets me in trouble. Honestly, my Achilles heel right now is I can't stop buying pajamas from Target, somebody stop me. We've got a foundation that has SPF of 50. We have their Radiant Concealer. The names of these like get my heart pumping, you know? Their Creamy Powder Foundation and then their Radiant Satin Blush. I've already like swatched these for a vlog I did for this week that may or may not be up yet. If it is, I can link it. But beyond that, I haven't done anything. So I am like dying to try these. So. I have like SPF'd my face, etc. My face is a little bit red because I humble brag went on a run today and it was literally like 100,000 degrees outside. I got the shade Rose Ivory 15. I think this might be a perfect match. This is like never happened in the history of ordering foundations online. I think the packaging is really, really pretty. So seemingly the only place you can buy this is Target's website. Like I can't really find it anywhere else, so I just find that kind of interesting. And it's $11.99 there. I think you can maybe get it on the Amazon too. It's a carefully formulated foundation that provides your skin with vitamin B3 and, and hydrating serum, so it says, while also being suitable for sensitive skin. Uh, it evens your tone, providing natural radiant coverage that doesn't settle into lines, hence the age perfect, or age perfect, I guess, I don't know. All the benefits of a radiant foundation with the added advantage of all day hydration and SPF 50. It says the cosmetic coverage is buildable and it says it's clean. I'm just so excited. Let's just do this. I'm going to apply it the way I apply like most foundations and that it, oh, maybe it is a little dark. We're just going to see. It's so hard to tell, especially when my skin's all red right now, but really doesn't have much of a smell. That's kind of nice. I know I love that Misha BB cream, but so many people complain. Oh my gosh, this is nice already. You see how like my skin looks like covered but radiant. Oh my gosh. Anyone else get grossed out by the sounds that sponges make like when you watch it in a video? Listen. Ew. <laughs> it looks pretty good, right? I'll show you all this in natural lighting here once we've got all these products on too so you can see it that way. But you can see that radiance but definitely it evened a lot out as much as I would want it to be, you know? It just looks so like pleasant on the skin. It's pretty rare when I try, you know, I do try a decent amount of like foundations and things like that. And this is the kind of product that is what I like, like max of like medium coverage. Your skin looks like skin. It's a little bit radiant, but not like oily. Now keep in mind, I have normal, sometimes dry skin. So if you have super oily skin, um, I don't know. I don't know if you'd like this because you can see what it did to mine. So maybe not but it looks so nice and it's pretty rare for me, this is what I was trying to say earlier, it's pretty rare for me to be excited to use this product again the next day. Like, especially with face products, I feel like I've become so picky for good reason because like I said, I have tried a decent amount and I've found what I like and i found what works for me and so it's like, I'm really picky with foundation and this, is like speaking my language in all senses of the word. That literally made no sense. I have fine lines, obviously, and I don't notice that it's like sinking into fine lines like crazy. I have, you know, a couple up there, I've got some here, but right now, at least where my fine lines are, I don't get a lot of like makeup sinking into them yet anyway. I know that I will. So I'm probably not the person to listen to when it comes to that, but I really like the way it looks. It was comfortable and easy to apply, and wow, I just feel like my skin looks freaking healthy, man. I think if you're someone that likes full coverage, you're not gonna like this. I mean, you can still see a little bit of redness and I could pile more and more on. I don't mind a little bit of my freckles showing through. Know thyself. <laughs> to thine own self be true. If you know you don't like lighter coverage, and I don't think this is light light coverage, I really do think it's like medium if you put on like two full layers. And I would say I put on like one and a half layers. But 
if you know you like full coverage, this is not gonna be your jam, don't even waste the money. So next up is the Radiant Concealer from their Age Perfect or Perfect line. I have the shade 200 Ivory. It's got like a flat doe foot applicator. I love that. Incredibly creamy, like just kind of swiping it on, I'm like, oh yeah. It's like getting into a warm bath. <laughs> and at least color wise for me, this is a little bit more neutral this shade anyway, and I love that. Like I'm almost more gray toned concealer. I feel like it looks best on me. It says it's formulated with hydrating serum. So this is what's cracking me up. Now I'm on the L'Oreal website. So this is their like official statement on the concealer. And it says it's formulated with hydrating serum and hydrating serum, they're both capitalized as though it's a proper noun. So it must be like their own hydrating serum Thing that they're referencing. And it's got glycerin in it, minimizes the appearance of imperfections and dark circles, brightens skin, creating a radiant complexion, does not settle into fine lines. Again, very similar claims. It's what I would have expected. So we're just gonna, this kind of name wise and packaging wise reminds me of the uh, NARS Radiant C Creamy Concealer. I mean, it's like literally very similarly named, right? This, at least when I was swatching it next to that, this feels way creamier. And I really like the NARS stuff, but I'm all about a creamy concealer, but let's see. I'm gonna use a little bit of finger action to kind of blend it in. It's kind of more emollient. I mean, I knew I'd be, it'd be like creamy and stuff, but it's a little more emollient than I thought it would be. If that makes sense, like almost oilier than I thought, but nowhere near the lengths of like oiliness as the Tarte Creases Concealer. That stuff is like, oily. I can't explain. It's like tacky and oily. It's not like that. It's not tacky, but it definitely just, it's, it's just a little bit creamier. It might be the glycerin in it, but comparing with and without, well, there's definitely a difference, but that's probably true with any concealer, but I think it looks nice. I'll be curious to see if this sinks into fine lines. Cause I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I've never found a concealer that doesn't. Yeah. There's already a little bit in there, but I also like, I applied a little much. I feel like if I had a little bit less, I wouldn't have had to blend it out so far where all my fine lines are anyway. You know what I mean? So maybe let me try a little bit less this time. But it definitely is covering that blue purple I always have there. My gosh, I mean, they're just like crazy. You know what is so funny? I remember being in like Chicago somewhere. We were visiting for the holidays because I used to live there. I don't remember if they were, it doesn't matter. My brother was in town with my parents and my brother's like, we're like a year and a half apart. We're really, we're close and I freaking love him and I wish we lived in the same state. I just remember him looking at me and I think I had makeup on, this was like 10 years ago. And he kind of like looked at me and did a double take and I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, gosh, I don't know. I thought you had a black eye for a second. I was like, what? So then I was all self-conscious and I'm looking and I'm like, yeah, I guess I do have like really purple, like inner, the inner part of my eye is really like purpley blue. But I was like, he had no idea. He ruined me for life. It looks nice though, right? Like I don't feel, like I said, it definitely has that. And like, it might be the glycerin, but it definitely has like almost a sheen to it. But it's also kind of refreshing because I feel like so many concealers I use are just drying. And so they end up looking crepey and weird. And as I get older, it's only gonna get worse. So I'm enjoying it so far. We're just gonna have to see. The Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. I have the shade 305 Cream Beige. I went up a, sh a couple shades really because I hate when a powder I'm using is too light for me. By the way, using one of my favorite mugs. It's the one I showed recently as well. And I was like, it's a Disney mug. Like there's the castle and stuff, but it's so ginormous. The coffee gets cold in like two seconds. Why am I drinking coffee at 4 p.m.? I don't know. All right, so it says, formulated with a ceramide antioxidant complex and minerals, blurs pores and lines, and keeps skin hydrated with a shine-free finish. It evens your tone and provides natural coverage that won't cake or settle into lines. So I'm kind of thinking, even though it's a powder foundation and I don't always do this, there's a part of me that wants to set my under eye just to see how it does with that too. But let me set the face and maybe make a judgment call. But the packaging is similar to their, what was it called? Like Paradise Enchanted or something packaging where it's just kind of a square, it's simple, plastic packaging. But on the bottom, there's this mirror and a little sponge to apply it with too. So. I am partial to powder foundations. I like them because I do a lot of lower coverage looks. Powder foundations are great because if you find one you love, you can use it all over and it just looks good. It doesn't look too, too powdery. And mm. so we are just gonna start up here, I guess. Wow, it definitely blurred that area. 
Noticeably so. It is blurring, dog. <laughs> We're just gonna do the whole face because we gotta try that blush anyway. It definitely, my skin definitely looks more perfected, right? It still feels tacky underneath it, which is interesting. I don't put like a crazy amount on. I'm not like caking it on with a sponge, you know? So just is what it is. Oh, it's our neighbors playing with kites and the kite just got stuck in our tree. They're so cute. Um, now it's just awkward though, because they know what I do for a living. Most of my neighbors do, but it's still just like weird when I've got like lights on in this window, like facing them like, hey guys. I don't know if I want to set my eyes with this. It's settled in a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of tap it in. Again, that's not abnormal. Like I feel like every concealer does that to me, but considering this specifically says it won't, how dare they? So maybe I'll set one and not the other. How about that? We're just gonna find out. Okay, so with and without. It definitely blurred a little bit. I do have a favorite under eye setting powder from number seven that's right around the same price point. I only use it for the under eye and it is so good and it completely blurs the area, like it's wild. So if you're looking for a good under eye setting powder that's pressed, I got you, I will link it below. This one will be set, that one will not be and we're just gonna see what it looks like at the end of the night. Uh, so the last thing we're gonna test out is this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. I have the shade 410. Rosewood and it has the same packaging where there's the mirror, but there's no I thought there'd be like a little brush in it And I'm still convinced that it fell out when I opened it and it's just like floating around on my floor somewhere I don't know no scent by the way to any of these products as I've been kind of smelling them uh, It is formulated with camellia oil for instant luminous color that doesn't cake or dry It's a powder though It's this look of cheeks and gives skin a natural healthy glow the unique creamy formula applies effortlessly and doesn't cake or dry Okay, yeah, all right, so this color just looks so beautiful to me. It's just such a classic blush color in my mind. Like, I feel like I can picture my mom using a CoverGirl Cheekers that was like this exact shade. So when I swatch it, it's a powder, but it does kind of have this creamy feel, not like to the point where it's like the MAC Glow Play blushes or the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. Those really are like a cream to powder type product. This is still a powder, but it does have this kind of unique feel to it. So we're just gonna get a little bit on the brush. And let's just see. It has this glow. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? It has this glow to it that's like, you almost can't pinpoint because it doesn't, it doesn't end up looking like a stripe of glow or anything like that. But it's this iridescence, I'm sure I'm using that word wrong, but you know what I mean, that you can just see. And it's, pr I mean, look at that. You do not need a highlighter with this blush, and yet it's not like so overly shimmery that you feel like you have this whole swath of shimmer because I hate that, you know what I mean? This is the right amount. It is so natural and radiant, man. They are nailing these. You would think this is sponsored by L'Oreal. I freaking wish. This is just a good grouping of products and I'm so pumped about it. So I was gonna do like my eye makeup and my brows and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna. It's like 4.30. I will still check in at the end of the night. I know it's not like a full on check on, Check in, but I figure it's better than nothing and I still want to show you like especially even if we are just looking at the concealer I'm very curious as to what it will look like in five hours Let's say so I will pop back in in a little bit, but just you know straight off the bat. I literally am liking everything <laughs> This does not always happen that way Like I, it's it's just so rare that a line comes out and I don't know if there's any more to this line This is all that I found but I also didn't do like a ton of digging it's been a while I feel like since an entire line at the drugstore has come out where so many of the products are so good and you know what age aside these are just good products regardless of the naming of it and i feel like i tend to be more partial to like the covergirl no lay simply ageless line i feel like i've liked so many of those products over the years and they're meant for more mature skin but i'm like Shh, they're good for anyone so let me real fast before i leave you for a bit let me show you what this looks like in natural lighting okay so we are i'm like leaning into the window so you can really see the blush just look, you see how it just has that glow to it? And then I literally feel like my face looks perfect. Oh my gosh, like the concealer looks nice. You can just see my fine lines because that's the way they live their lives. This is the one with powder, this is the one without. There's a slight difference to it, but I'm really curious to see how it wears like when it comes to getting in the fine lines by the end of the night. I feel like my skin tone looks even, it looks healthy. I definitely, if you saw my recent video, I was trying like a Clinique Even Better foundation. I liked that stuff. It wasn't quite the right shade for me. So that was problem number one, but it just didn't quite have this quality to it where it, 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 I, there's just something so beautifully radiant and creamy about that product I use today. So oh, I'm just digging it, man. 
Okay, so checking in, it's like 10, third. We still haven't changed that clock. So I was just looking at it in the mirror. I actually think this under eye, okay, first of all, <laughs> my eyes have been so itchy because of my allergy, so I keep itching that area. So it's not like the most perfect wear test, but I do actually think the one without the powder looks a little less crepey but there's a little more coverage on the one with the powder. So I just feel like the powder I mentioned earlier that I love, I'm excited to pair that with this concealer. I think it'll be perfect, but I really liked the concealer. I am pumped to use this foundation tomorrow. And the fact that it has SPF of 50 as well is just like the icing on the cake. But I think my skin looks pretty. And the powder foundation I think did pretty well. I wanna play with that a little bit more. I'm not totally convinced. I think the blush is really pretty too. It's worn off a little bit, like I said. I've just been like rubbing my face like crazy and my daughter was being cute earlier and, and was snuggling, so I was just bowing my face in her. So, but yeah, all in all, a lot of good products. This was so enjoyable for me to do. If you enjoy this style of video where I just have a handful of products I'm trying out, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I wanna do these kinds of videos a couple times a month because there are always new things launching and I always wanna try a few of them, but I don't always necessarily wanna try entire lines or buy like five shades of something because that's just not feasible for me and it just doesn't make sense for me. Especially given the fact that not every video I do on my channel is makeup focused. I do do other things. So these are awesome. You will also hear about these again in a future speed reviews video. Those are videos I do every other month where I round up all of the products I've tried. After I tried them for another month or two, you get to finally hear my like final reviews on how I feel about them after using them for a lot longer than just like one day. So subscribe if you are interested in my future speed review video. It makes my videos more easy for you to find in your subscription feed as I upload them. Of course, I'd love to say hi to you on social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.